All right. Let's continue Oracle of Ages. See, it's good because not enough time like last time. I kind of remember more or less what I was doing. We're heading south. Probably south from the town. I suppose I should just say the usual thing. Hey, if you're watching this later, thanks for clicking. I have to remember how this worked. I think, like, down here and then... I've forgotten how to get back to town. Oh wait, are we in the pass still? I think we're in the pass still. Yeah, we are. Okay. I need to get back to the present. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I got my bearings now. Like, imagine we have to go to the present before we start, so... I might have some rings for appraisal. We've got a few. The peace ring. No explosion if holding a bomb. Ooh. If holding the bomb, but if you throw it, it should explode. That's useful. Another peace ring. Curse ring. Half sword damage, damage taken two. Why would I ever want that? <laughs> I guess it's like if you want a hard mode. I might just leave that for now. I don't think it's the end of the world if, like, I explode a little <laughs> with my bombs. It's not the end of the world. This is familiar. This was in, uh, in Oracle of Seasons, that room. Oh, that's a dead end. Uh, huh. I guess just until we can go fully south. No, but this just leads to the construction site. Oh, what? 
Blank, I see a quest has brought you to Labrinia. Can I ask a favor of you? There should be a great fairy behind the falls in Holodrome's sunken temple of seasons. Oh. Yeah, I mean... I'm not going to go back to Oracle of Seasons and enter these codes in. I'm pretty sure it's just... They're alternate ways to do certain things. Huh, that's surprising. Thought for sure there'd be a door. I do find it strange that, like, in the past this wasn't an enchanted forest. It was more industrial, but now in the future it is. Like, what changed? Well, I mean, there's no way to go south here. Oh, hello. That's just money. But I guess we have to go around for that. Maybe now this... Okay, no. I think... I think this is just a trade quest thing. Hmm. Let me have a look here, just in case, but... I thought this was just the... The tower. Yeah, that's now fully, almost fully built. Um, my mom, Mama Moo, Yan. The top breeder in the town. My dog is much cuter than that dog. Much cuter. But my dog is very shy. Do you know of a good way to hide its face? Okay. I assume a mask. Well, the one thing I've noticed about this is... I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like... The audio peaks. Like the music, it just has points where it just kind of peaks a little. Just between us, I have seen a terrifying monster that eats shields. Oh yeah, right, this dude. Like, I wonder if that's something I can adjust. I might look into it next time. It's like perceived loudness, not real loudness, if that makes sense. Like, it's not for everything. Like, right now, this... This song here doesn't do it. But the village song, I've noticed, does it quite a bit. Maybe it's in the past that I have to do this. I'm just gonna have a look around, but... It might be the past.
Yeah, I don't think I can cross this no matter what. Alright, I'm gonna go to the pass. I don't think there's anything else for me to do here. something at least. Alright, so can't go there yet. Can I jump across this? No. <laughs> This, on the other hand, haha. -ha. I am Cheval. I am researching items for use in water. Before I die, I want to finish my work on flippers for swimming and rope that won't decay in water. I hope to aid all the people of the world by inventing such things. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if we go to the future and he's invented it. Oh, no, it's you. Hey, Lank. Are you looking for something? Or what, huh? Cheval Rope. I know that name. Yeah, I've seen a grave in our own time that has that name on it. But I don't have time to chat. I'm busy. See ya. Yeah, okay. Figured as much. So the dude runs up a pier. That is clearly a dead end. Doesn't have time to be there, and then just goes away. discrepancy between past and present. Guys, shocked. Let's shock him some more. Uh, ghost, help! Yeah, why is the weirdo here? What are you looking at? We'll shock you too. <laughs> They're not really doing anything. Don't eat me, I taste awful. The ghosts are all gone. 
Blank. I can help you if you like. Blank. Climb onto my back. Oh yeah, we, we know this. Water is my weakness. Shell stuff is one thing, but I can't take deep water, so be careful. I can float if you tap A. Okay. Oh, crap. And then I can get off you like this, yep. Go away. I'm just gonna ignore those things. I think I need... Okay, hang on. Should be this. There we go. Now I'll go for a swim! Don't get crushed. It's the other thing I gotta get used to, is just like, the diving mechanic. Just the fact that there might be hidden stuff. Oh, there's a rope. The steady weight won't rot, rot when wet. Guess that's it. You found what you were looking for? I'm glad I could help. See you around. Wonder if I could have used them for anything else. We'll have a look around while I'm here. I right, see now I can swim to this. Um I am the Great Witch Syrup, and this is my potion shop. Bring me what you want. This. Magic potion, 300. That's Syrup Magic Ointment. It works great when your hearts run out. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have bought that. But whatever, it's there. I guess I just have to try not to get it to go off. want. Oh, you know what? I'll keep digging. I don't think there's anything else to see here. I think we're good. want to replenish money. It's worth doing, because eventually I'll just be able to get, like, a hundred out of it. But now that I can swim... I 
I do find it funny that, like, we go to the guy's grave and his invention's there. So, like, he invented what he said he was going to invent, but it doesn't look like he did anything to make it benefit humanity. Kept it to himself and took it to his grave. There was nothing there. Okay. I am so well researching items for use in the water. Somehow, seeing it gives me hope for my research. <laughs> Just show him the invention and then cut the time out. Okay, I guess we find a way forward now. Alright, this looks fine. There's an odd pattern near the gate to the market tree. What could it be? Oh, that's just... Nothing? Hmm, okay. I thought for sure there'd be something there. I'll have one more look around, but it's possible that this is most likely in the present. I forgot to tell you my lucky secret to that guy who went to Holodrum. Oh. Yeah, more of these link codes. Like, I don't think it would give anything that makes it worthwhile going to that one. I don't know. Because I've collected most of the major things. It's like... Oh, you know what? No. I might be wrong. Alright, look, I'll- I'll bring it up on screen. Because I think maybe the outstanding thing was, like, those key pieces. I might look it up, but I think maybe there's a purpose to going back to the other game. Hey, that's it! With that shovel rope, I could finish my raft. Let me have that rope, please. Okay. Thank you. Tell you what, you can be the first to ride my raft when it's done, but you'll need a chart if you want to go out to sea. Going without a chart is an invitation to disaster. I'll have the raft ready by the time you get a chart. 
the chart, you say. I wonder if the answer is just as simple as time traveling <laughs> and coming back here. Yeah. Well, if it isn't Lank. Dawdling about as usual. What are you doing, huh? You need an island chart? I've heard that weird guy has sea charts to the secret isle. Do what you want. I'm too busy trying to save Nehru to help you. See ya. Nehru! This dude must have seen me come and go, like, multiple times and just doesn't flinch at the idea of someone teleporting. Gone. Weird. So I guess we gotta find the old dude in present day. I don't think there's anywhere I can go here. I think this is all a dead end. I'll look around town. If there's a weird guy by the sea, he just floats in the air. I wonder what he's like. If there's a weird guy by the sea, he just floats in the air. It's Tingle. Yeah, okay. Right, but like... How do we get to him? Oh. There we go, that's the answer. Oh, I'm Ricky! I usually can clear hulls and cliffs with my patented jump, but I'm not in such a good mood right now. You see, I lost my precious gloves. I think I left them by the tree on the beach, but I can't seem to find them. Forgot, Ricky the kangaroo will help. Funny thing is, I, I definitely dug this dirt. There was nothing here, <laughs> but I guess now it's here. my gloves you found them thanks now i'll help you find what you're looking for hop into my pockets okay i mean ricky's kind of op a gift like this is one that i'll leave okay If you were to move toward a hole, I'll just jump over right over. I can clear one hole easy. Give it a try. 
Nice. Punch tingle! I'm gonna try my best to make this the, th the thumbnail. <laughs> For the video eventually. Just Ricky the kangaroo about to beat the living crap out of tingle. Hang on. Alright, that'll do. Wait. There we go. What's this, green clothes? Sir, are you smitten with forest fairies? My name is Tingle, the one and only, I am a true fairy. The villagers say that at 35, it, I should open my eyes. But I say Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. How'd you like Tingle the fairy for a friend? Sure. And from today, you and Tingle are friends. Yes, yes. As a sign of our friendship, Tingle will give you his chart that shows the way to the secret island. Come back here anytime you wish to see Tingle. If you get more mystical seeds, something good may happen. Tingle, Tingle, Kululimpa! These are the magic words that Tingle created myself. Don't steal them. I guess you found what you were looking for after... Oh, sorry. This is between you and me. But I can't stand this guy, so I'll see you later. <laughs> Open. I had the right idea. With punching. Oh. But... Okay, I guess the only way back is this way. I think eventually I'll be able to get back up there, but for now... Alright, back to the past. gone the wrong way. We'll see. So there was clearly some accident that caused this house to get destroyed by a flood. Hey, what took you so long? My raft is ready. Come over here. Some catastrophe. Shove off from over there. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna drink some water before I do. The raft awaits. Climb on top and press D-pad to move. Alright. Wait, what? Oh, it's just out here, okay. A more powerful raft, one that you actually have control over. Okay, there's a keyhole. Kinda disappointed. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be something major.
Here we go, this... I guess this is the C area. Cutscene. Oh, it's the plot to Link's Awakening. <laughs> you thieving! <sighs> I actually do remember this. <laughs> These are like vague memories. Oh, whoa! Leave me alone. I don't know, uh, nothing. Me? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I'm innocent. Uh, I don't know whose shovel it is. Guess we, that's who we start with. This is Crescent Island. I've never seen a toke like you. You have ears. Are you a long-eared toke? Oh great, I can't defend myself. Hi, do you remember me? I'm Rosa. You like forgot we dated? This is my first long trip in, like, forever. And I saw some weirdo with this shovel I had seen before. So I, like, asked if he knew. Then he, like, got all excited and went leaping off somewhere. What a weirdo. Was that, like, your shovel? If you don't hang on to it, it could, like, wash out to sea. Awesome. Thank you. Actually, the theme of my trip is the independent woman, so you have to wait for another date. <laughs> Can I attack with a shovel? No. I mean, at least the shovel will keep me healthy. Okay, can't do anything there. I guess let's go in the cave. Oh, I see. Oh, this should be fine. I may have already messed up. Let me... No, but there was no other way through this, I think. Hang on. Let me reset it. Yeah, I, I messed it up. Oh. I can't pull. I can push that way. Okay, there we go. What now? Hey, you're the one who I, uh, uh, I'm glad you came. I was thinking this, maybe, uh, I should I, I mean, maybe I should go give this back to you, here. Okay. That's all I picked up, but maybe the other Toke took stuff too? But maybe not. Maybe you should look around. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I can get that back without Rock's Feather, so... Alright. Give health, please.
What's interesting is they didn't take my money. Buy something, a shield for 50? No thanks, I got my own shield. <laughs> I was about to go across that. Our guardian is at the center of the island when the sun climbs high into the sky and the sea comes in and you can't get to him. There's a spot just like this on the west side of the island. I'm guessing any, any of the ones that are here don't have anything. Chickens! Look at how happy they are to see me. I guess I can't get in here with my without my strength. Same here. Oh, this just leads back here. I guess keep heading along the beach. Put vine sprouts by strange walls for good luck. There was a sentry here long ago. If you planted a seedling now, it would take hundreds of years to grow. Oh my god. If you want something, we, c we can trade. I found that feather. You can have it for 10 mystery seeds. You don't have mystery seeds, then I'll trade you for your shovel. Don't. Okay. Yeah, right, this is like a bartering thing. We need that seed bag back ASAP. Oh, I need bombs. I don't have bombs. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. This one's in position. We need bombs. Okay, but with this, there is one other item I can go get. This is our precious tree nursery. They say a sentry was planted here long ago. If I had a seedling, I'd plant it here. Am I winning? Uh, kinda. These little lizards have stolen my, my equipment. So I'm trying to earn it back very slowly. Much like Link's Awakening's plot. Lightning struck my raft and put me on this island where they s proceeded to steal all my possessions. Look at his fancy dance. <laughs> oh yeah. I can't remember if there was a dancing segment in this one. It may have just been seasons. No thanks. Ok. 
Okay, what else can I do, realistically? Let's see what's in here. Okay. Maybe I should have taken the feather. Let's just keep going, seeing... Oh, that's it. Wow. Okay. Alright, I guess we're trading for the feather then. Okay. <laughs> so... Why couldn't- why couldn't we cut the middleman out and just go straight to the trade? If you're going to get my shovel back anyway. Okay, that's already growing. Oh, there's my Harp of Ages. I don't have my flippers. <laughs> yeah, I don't have my flippers. Crap. I don't have the bracing out either. Wait a minute. Oh. Ah, oh, why did I go in the cave, huh? Alright. Yeah, well done. I did have it correct. Okay. <laughs> but, I guess this is how we learn. I guess I just tunnel vision and didn't see that lower path. Oh no! I can't go here anyway. That doesn't do anything. Well, what, what can I do then? <laughs> Keep the bracer on me. The shield's not going to help in the slightest, I don't think. Actually, oh no, it's the same thing. Let's see here, I don't think I can get any further. Hmm. Have a look around the island a bit more.
need my flippers back. Okay, the only other thing is maybe I gave up on that other room. Too soon. Oh, chickens. Can I throw them over? No. Hmm. This was the only other room, but I couldn't see anything else in here. Like, that's just that. I've missed something obvious. What have I missed? Maybe just going up here is the obvious. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Yep. I'm an idiot. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. Welcome to the Wild Toke, the game room where... Wait, the game room for all fit Toke. Today's prize is this. If you want this scent seedling, take... The Wild Toke Challenge. It costs 10 rupees. Okay. Want to hear the rules? Yes. Pass meat to each Toke that runs by on the left and right. If you give meat to each one, you win. If you skip even one, you fail. Understand? Okay. Then let's get started. I think I need... Okay, cool. It's already prepared me. Got it. Oh no! I failed! It disappears. <laughs> oh, crap. Are Toke lizards? I guess so, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Why does it have to be so hard? Or maybe they just refer to things as, uh, Toke. Kinda like Koopo. And what other games have, like, that kind of thing. No! <laughs> I missed one. Close. Okay. In Oracle of Seasons, this was a dance contest. I missed the dance contest. Eek! <laughs> no way! Why? Why is this being janky? I'm gonna lose all my money. Why? Why does it do that? I was holding the direction down. Okay. Dude. Okay, I was on the back foot a little on that one. Dude. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? 
It just drops it. <laughs> Trying to cast them early. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it can land in front of them, but it disappears. It can land in front of him, but it disappears. That's why I was better to go for a direct hit. I just didn't want to miss it for any reason. Okay, so now I have the seed, which I'll go plant in that nursery up there. I guess the next thing for me to get logically is the heart. Hey, is that a scent seedling? Let's plant it. Okay. Huh? What's wrong? It's not like it's gonna get big right away. It takes a long, long time for a seed to become a tree. Don't worry. I'll take care of it, so come back after a long, long time. Okay. I just noticed these trees kind of, the base of them look like noses. Just a little bit, like. I'm picking the nose. the other spot we could get to. I need- wait. Yeah, I need the feather. Mm, yes, because there's no way to get across this without the feather. Okay. Gotta go trade back now. Is this a GBC game? Yes. Game Boy Color Exclusive. It didn't work on the old Game Boy. It was also developed by Capcom and not Nintendo. I mean, Nintendo commissioned them, but yeah, it was rare that they ever did that. These two games were very, very good. back. Hey, you're the one who I, uh, um, I'm glad you came. I was, I was thinking maybe I should hide, uh, I mean, I, uh, maybe I should go give this back to you. Here. You got Zora's flippers back. Do you get tax returns in Australia? Yeah. If there's one thing that's universal, it's definitely tax. Uh, but they happen in June, typically. If you were to do them right away. That's all I picked up, but maybe... Other Toke took stuff too. <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe you should go look around. You love it because you always forget about it. Oh, it's, if you get... You usually get money back. It's definitely great. It's like a... It's a surprise amount of money. 
guess. Alright, now I gotta get this back again. I try to get myself something whenever tax comes back. Depends how much I get back, but... <laughs> I think if I do get some back this year, I might get more Game Boy games, not gonna lie. I'm kind of enjoying playing these again. Can't imagine being one of those people that has to pay into it. I mean... I'm trying to think if that ever happened to me. I, I don't think it had, because... Um, the way it, it works here is, is a bit weird, but like, from a younger age, you can, I think at any point you can claim what's called the tax-free threshold, right? And that's intended for people that don't earn that much money, so whether it be students or people on low income, they can claim that, so the tax that you pay is very, very minimal, sometimes zero. But then, if you go over the tax bracket where there's no payment required, then of course you have to pay, right? So, I guess because I worked two jobs, one, you can only claim it on one job. So, the second job that I always had, I'd always have to pay full tax on it. So, I guess that's why I've always gotten money back. Not because... I'm, I'm organized or unorganized, it's just because, like, up until the job that I'm working now, I've always worked two jobs. So. I usually have savings, but, like, it, it sucks if you're, like, you've saved and then it's like, oh, right, tax, crap, I have to pay. That's, uh, that's not great. <laughs> okay, now we can do this. Although, is there anything around here? I don't think there's anything from, like, a streaming perspective, like, a quality perspective that I could get now. I think, like, I'm kind of up to date on things I could buy to make the stream better. Like, I got a, I got a, I, I guess, like, I could go one further up on the microphone thing, but I don't think it's necessary. At that point, like, I would need the room to be one of those rooms that are designed for, uh, audio, but... Yeah, that's- that's not a thing. Do I need to jump? Okay. Ooh. Oh no, I might need the feather for this. Maybe I can just run across, let's see. Nah. But I need the- the bracelet to get in here in the first place. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have a look around what else I can do from a swimming perspective. The only thing I need for streams are games, pretty much. And the USB hub. Ugh, don't remind me. Like, that thing's still being a pain. I kind of moved it around a bit, and now it's only one of the drives doing it. I mean, I'm almost at the point where I could do with a computer upgrade, like, I've had this one for... Seven... No. I think it's as old as, it's as, old as my Switch, so it's like six years-ish. Or the, the first Switch I had, not the OLED one. So, I mean, I, I could just make that the next thing is just upgrade, but the thing is... I'm not really playing games that require, like, high visual fidelity on PC. Like, I'm using my PS5 for that. 
The only thing that I guess I would do would be like put a 4K capture card in it, but I feel like it's a bit premature to do that. Maybe a PSU swap. Yeah. I mean, PSUs are usually... At the high end, they can go for 10 years. So I think I'm still okay in that regard, but... I think if... If 4K, well not even 4K, I guess Ultra HD streaming was more normal. Then that would probably be the point that I would, uh... Do the upgrade. Because then, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I could do. But I think for the time being, like, this is gonna serve me well for a while. I suppose the only thing it would do would be... I'd be able to encode the video quicker. Which would mean that I could probably bump up the quality. I mean, for games like this, it doesn't matter, right? Like, it looks great, no matter what. But I think for... Games with high motion, like, having a better encode rate... And a bitrate... Will definitely help. Maybe a new mouse pad? I recently got a new mouse pad for Christmas. It's like one of the those massive ones, so... I had one already, but... I mean... I kind of use it as a coaster a little bit, to be honest, so it's like, it's seen better days. Um... Okay, let's go further. We'll see what we can do with Feather. It just paid off some debt. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Not the fact that you've had to pay off debt, you know? It's just a nice feeling, because it's... ...less stress, I guess. I think a couple years back I finished paying my student debt. I think it was... two... just before COVID hit. I don't know. Figure out the timeline. But that was a nice feeling, finally getting rid of that. It's not quite to the level that, like, some people might experience, but... Yeah, it was good to, uh, have it done. Car payment was due a day before you got a check, and you wouldn't have been able to pay it without a tax return. COVID really messed up your paycheck. Yeah. Oh crap, I just destroyed that. Yep, COVID did sure mess things up. But see, this isn't gonna help either. I need a shovel here. I mean, it's only really in, like, the last six months that things have started to go back to normal. It's just kind of insane, just <laughs> three years. Chance you'll get paid 15 an hour to take your paramedic course, so getting paid to get an education. Oh no, that's great. Yeah, honestly, anything where like you're getting paid to study, that's that's a big win. I need to get in there, but like I haven't figured it out yet. The thing is. Unless I'm an idiot. Oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I just realized what I need to do. Where was that other cave? It wasn't here. 
I think it was in there. Or was it in here? No, this is just the mini game. Wait, hold on. Let me just see, because maybe this might have like a heart piece associated with it. You can't play if you can't lift me. All oh, right, I don't have. I'll come back to it later. It's possible that it has like a round two where you earn a heart piece. I'm kind of stuck. I think I may have figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can lift this. Okay, I think I got it. And then down here. Aha! This looks promising. <laughs> As long as no jumping is required. Okay. Hey! You're the one who I, uh... Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got my seeds back. Um, now the only problem with this... If I drop here, it's gonna... Do that, but I can move it back now. That's fine. Now I get to have both back, which means I can get my time travel powers back. Okay. Do I want to know what happens if I keep playing the meat game? Sure, it's not that much of a spoiler and I was probably going to do it and find out myself. Link can play for groupies, gasha seeds, and magic rings. The game gets increasingly difficult each time he completes the game, right? So no heart piece, but... I mean... Magic rings are uh, these items you can appraise, and then at the moment I can only equip one, and some of them they give you useful passives. So the one I'm wearing right now will ping me when there's uh, soft soil to be able to plant um, a gasha nut that can grow into like a heart piece. <laughs> but in the last game, I'd spent so much time trying to get it and it just it just didn't happen. So we'll see. Oh, but no, but see, this is this is the combo I should have. I don't have scent seeds, but now I have both the bracelet and the feather, so we can traverse anything now. It was a neat system, like... There were ones that were very useful. There's one where, if... That I have right now where if I'm holding a bomb above my head, it won't... It won't explode. So, you can hold onto it as long as you want and then just throw it, which... There'll probably be a boss where that's really useful. I remember there was one that if you're below half health, you do more damage. So. And then eventually you do get an upgrade that lets you carry two rings, so. It's a pretty neat little system. You're the one I who I am. Uh, I was thinking maybe I should hide me and I should give it back. Yeah, bye. Okay, there we go. 
That's all I picked up, but maybe the other Turk I took stuff too. Maybe, maybe not. You should look around. All right. Uh, I need the shovel back. Okay. But, I mean, I should be able to use one of the gates already. Tears of the Kingdom comes out late March. Oh, no, it comes out in May. Comes out in May, I believe. Let me check. I might be wrong. I know the month started with an M, but I'm pretty sure it's May. It's not that close, because we're like mid-Feb already. Tears of the Kingdom. 12th of May. So yeah, 12th of May. Advance Wars comes out before that. Metroid and Kirby this month. Although technically next month if you get the physical. I forgot what's in March. There's something else in March. But that's that's the lineup. That's why I'm playing through the Zelda games. It's I have about three just less than three months to get to get through the remainder, which I think I can pull off. Before I was only playing it once a week, but now I'm like as often as possible. Okay, so now we're in the future. Let's see if this has changed. Oh, this is different now. This is the Wild Tokyo Museum. We Tokyo used to play here long ago, but not anymore. The Tokyo on your left and right are real. I mean, real looking Tokyo. They won't respond if you talk to them. Well, I mean, I can't reach them. That's kind of funny. A living museum. One, two, three. Is that a lot? I need to learn my numbers. Oh, the shop's gone. Okay, but now we have those seeds up there. Which means I can trade for my shovel back. What about in here? What's in here? The chickens are now grown up. There's a new hut here. It is said that long ago, a turkey with no tail opened our guardian's mouth. I have to cook dinner for all the turkey, but does is all stubbed up. I, I, I cook, it'll taste awful. Give the stink bag. Huh? What, what's that? <laughs> Ew. Ew. That smell. Oh. Ew. What was that? My nose stings. That was stinky. Stinky? That smell, it cleared up my nose. Thanks. That, um... I mean, it's a bag of crap, let's face it. Did it. I need it. It's unbearable. I'll trade you something really good for it. Tasty meat. It's the chef's specialty. Alright, I know who to go with this. So... It's the hungry, weird-looking dude. I mean, this is mostly complete. Okay. Plant the seed. I mean, hopefully this one will become a heart piece. It's far enough from civilization that it might, it might do it. Wait, so I didn't get my shield back. Do I really have to purchase it back? Hey you, listen to me. It takes a long time for trees to grow. The same goes for that vine you just climbed down. Okay. Oh, what? That's new. You 
You got scent seeds. Their smell attracts monsters. Okay. But I'm just here, honestly, just to use them as currency. Alright, and now I go back and get my shovel back. play the minigame while I'm at it. But then, uh, do I really have to pay for the shield? Okay, there we go. That's everything. I have nothing left to trade. So... Unless I'm mistaken, none of, none of these little lizards stole my shield. It's just gone. And I have to buy it back. I won't do it just yet unless where I'm going to doesn't have it. But that's the only one of my items missing now, is the shield. Okay, let's try this again. Wild toke room for- alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's rupees. Okay. Did I ever play Pikmin? That's a series that I've never checked out, um, but... Since Pikmin 4 is close to release, I've been tempted to try it. Um, I don't know if it's worth going back and playing the original, though. Maybe starting with Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which is on the Switch. Might be a good idea. I mean, the new one does look pretty good, so... I don't know why I'm doing this. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so you can't land it on the floor. Determination. Got it! <laughs> it's a game that you keep seeing be released that you have literally never heard anyone talk about. You're not convinced the game is real. I mean... It's one of those ones that started off with a cult following, and then it's gotten bigger with every release. That was not worth my time. That was only 20 rupee. And it cost 10. It's like... I could I could play that minigame, or I could just do this. And probably earn as much money in the same amount of time. It looks fun. It's, it's just like a... It's more of a puzzle adventure. What's the thing to the left? What thing? You mean this thing? Uh, that was where I got... Where was it? I got something back there. I think I got my bombs back in there. I've cleared most of these rooms, so... I'm gonna go to the other side of the island. And hopefully I'll get my shield back there, otherwise I'm just gonna have to spend the 50 and buy it back. There's two series that, like, from the GameCube era, that I didn't check out because I questioned them. So one of them was Luigi's Mansion, and the other one was Pikmin. And I did check out the new Luigi's Mansion, and enjoyed it. Like, I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. Um, I guess it's not new now, it's a few years old, but... The Switch game. So, it might be worth going back and, uh... Huh, I don't have anything to give you, though. And trying the previous two entries, and then Pikmin, which... I know someone who's into it, and they swear by it that it, it's a fun game, so... Okay, and now I can time travel. 
Uh, G Luigi's Mansion is in top three GameCube releases. Yeah. It was funny because at the time... I guess I wanted what eventually would be Mario Sunshine. I was just surprised that they didn't, like, go with a big Mario game or a big Zelda game as, like, the launch title. It was like, oh, it's a game where Luigi's looking for Mario? It just seemed a bit weird, so I just, I guess, me as a kid, or a teenager, I guess at the time, just didn't buy into it. You're curious to try the 3DS remake? Yeah, I gotta look for a copy of that. I, I have Luigi's Mansion 2. But I don't think I have the remake. A lot of the, the DS remakes were pretty decent from what I've heard, so... I guess it depends which one's cheaper to pick up. Or better. Um... Oh, we've arrived. Wow, this took a while. Luigi's Mansion 2 was dog shit awful, really. I'll still probably check it out. Just for the sake of completion. I gotta remember- I don't remember how to kill these things, but I know it's not how I think it is. In other Zelda games, you shoot them with an arrow, and this one it's something else. Oh wait, it might be- it might even be bombs. Hang on. It might even be bombs. Did I do it? Yeah, okay. Luigi's Mansion 3 was a worthy entry, not as good as 1 but acceptable and fun. Alright, let me put it this way. Was it, like... Was 2 so, so horrible, like, irredeemably horrible, to the point where, like, you wanted a refund, or was it just, like, not as good as 1? Because it's honestly rare for a Nintendo game to be irredeemably fun. Like, sorry, irredeemably horrible. Like, to the point where it's just not- Never any fun. It ends up in a bargain bin, like, pretty much within a month. I can't I can't say that I've heard of many Nintendo titles doing that. Like, it takes quite a bit. There was one game in particular I remember people complaining about back in the day, it was like... Uh... It was, an it was another GameCube game. It was like... Chibi Robot, it was called, and then... They released it on the DS, and that just... It sucked, because it wasn't what, what the original game was. And it was... It's just one of these games that... Can't even remember if you beat it, they just took out so much atmosphere and charm. Alright, okay. I mean, I have a copy, so it's it's not like I'm spending money. But I'll probably still check it out. In Phantom Hourglass, you have to blow into the mic to kill them. Okay, noted. Because I will get up to that. It felt like they were afraid to make kids spook their chains of formula. Ah, uh, okay. Got ya. I'll see. This owl's not gonna say anything useful, are uh, ya? Yeah. The four crystals tie it all together. Yeah, okay, so this is... What I was gonna do anyway is you destroy all four of them and then the building comes falling down. Much like Link's Awakening. You know what I found crazy? Um, there's like a massive discrepancy in the pricing of uh, the Kirby games on D on 3DS. Like, there are certain... Which one was it? It was... One of them 
To get an American copy of the game costs two hundred dollars, and to get a European copy costs seventy. Like, just that big of a price difference, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> The 3DS is region lock, but you know, it works in my favor because Australians are allowed to play European games, so. But I was like, wait, why why is there such a huge difference between the price? Did it did the game just not sell well in America? Is like, is it that rare? It was a limited physical release. Right. But then Europeans didn't get a limited release, it was just like a standard release. I suppose that makes sense, like... Mega Man 10 in Europe, for some reason, was, uh, digital only. They didn't do a physical release. So I had to import a copy of that one. I don't think I can get through here, yet. Modding 3DS is super easy to remove smooth range luck. Oh no, I know, I know. But I guess in this case, like, I'd be getting the European version of the game anyway. It's like, if I want a physical copy, like an original copy... Like, and I have a DS that can already pe play European games, there's no point in getting the American copies. The, the DS library is not bad in that regard, like, there's very few discrepancies. But that was one of the ones where I had to do a double tech. I was like, why is this so expensive over there? Wait, that's it? No, that- okay, I guess there has to be a way through there. Not a huge Kirby fan, don't know the details. No, I imagine it would be something like that. It makes sense. Because they've done- they've done it for other things. And not that long ago. I'm super excited, I bought the Mario Black Friday new 3DS and it looks sweet. Can't wait to finish Metroid. Yeah, enjoy. The new 3DS is a pretty slick. I just, I just wish that <laughs> when I bought mine, I would have spent more time with it. I mean, you know, the Switch. Oh, I see. I see what I, I need to do. Throw it over. I bought it and then the Switch was announced like, it would have been three months later. Like, it was not that that much time that I had to wait. There we go. Okay, got it. Something got knocked loose, and then can this be pushed? Okay. Aha! Me the key, thank you. The OG 3DS has internet download speeds of like 600 KB. The new 3DS does three megabytes a second. Yeah, I believe that. Even the Switch, for whatever reason, they if you go on wide mode, they cap it how fast it downloads. Because I've got fiber internet and you just don't get, I don't get max speeds on the Switch and then I looked it up and it's like it's, it's capped at how much that is able to go. Even on the OLED model where the thing is built in, it still caps it, which is kind of annoying. I can only imagine what it would have been like for other stuff. It doesn't really bother me because I, I, I've never purchased digital and, you know, two main reasons is physical copies in Australia are generally cheaper. Just because of that stupid, you know, thing that's happened here. But also just, I don't trust Nintendo when it comes to digital things. They just haven't proven themselves in that department, so. 
Su Splatoon surprised you that Nintendo would release a competitive online game because Nintendo's online is ass. Yeah, I mean, people do complain about it still. It's just one of those things, they're kind of akin to Bethesda, right? Like, look at Bethesda games. Before the, uh, the Fallout 76 thing. So Bethesda games, everyone knows Bethesda games are buggy. And it's to the point, like, they, you know, do self-aware humor that, oh, our games, you know, they might not work perfectly. It's an understatement. But, you know, they always had huge story-driven worlds, and it was like, yeah, you can overlook the bugginess because ultimately they delivered a good experience. And Nintendo is kind of in the same realm of things. Is like, their games are great, but, you know, we excuse the fact that they have very terrible online play. And it's because the games are that good. So it's just, it's kind of the same thing. And I think all it's going to take for it not to be acceptable is for them to really, really butcher a release to the point where, like, it would, they would have to butcher something like Splatoon, right? Where the game, the purpose of it is to play online, and then it's something where it is literally unplayable for, like, about a month, and then people, like, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Nintendo's boot is down our throats, but at least the boot tastes good. Ah. Yeah, I mean, you have to be somewhat of a... A little bit of a masochist to be a Nintendo fan, I feel. Oh, crap. Why, why am I not throwing this? There we go. Jeez, that was horrible. Okay, that's two. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh! No! I'm out of bombs. Is there any other way to get them? I don't think there is. They don't... They don't react to swords, maybe let's try fire. No, they don't react to fire. Ugh. That's a little annoying. I mean, I should have done better. I don't know why I'm so bad at throwing bombs in this game. I think the thing that they've been doing lately that I have mixed feelings about is just every si every single game as of late, they already have the DLC plan before the game even releases. And a lot of the time it's kind of like they release something that has less features so they can introduce like a, a season pass type thing. Particularly in, say, sports games. Like you look at how little stuff tennis and golf had. Or like Wii Sports Resort. I don't think that got a season pass, but like... Oh my god, I messed it up again. I've noticed that it's a pattern with them now, it's just... Everything has to have DLC now. Which makes it a bit... Ugh, like, from a preservation point of view, makes it a bit uh, questionable as to what's going to happen in the future. Don't partake in season pass stuff. Well, not even season pass stuff, like, consider Breath of the Wild. There's no version of that game that's released that had, um, like, master mode built in or any of the other stuff they added, right?
Alright, I'll just leave it like that for now. I mean, maybe one day you'll ultimately be able to sail the, the seven seas to get some of the stuff, but... <sighs> I hate this. Can I just walk into them? No, you can, it, it doesn't allow you to just kamikaze yourself into them. They move so quick as well. Oh my god. Nah, I have to leave. I don't have enough bombs for this. I do like this game, but sometimes, man, <laughs> some of the things you have to do. Like, the boss I had to fight last time. Oh, I did not like that boss one bit. Limited bomb supply and then, like, kind of an erratic movement pattern. And it's not like they're slow either and easy to hit. more. Oh no, yeah, no, that, that didn't hit, nope. There was no explosion directly over the enemy, no sir. Alright, I'll be back. I wonder if I can cheese this a little. Nah, <laughs> not quick enough. I thought maybe I could step over the button and get one of them right away, but... Hmm, there's just no way I can predict how they're gonna go. Okay, there's one. Yeah, this room's kind of annoying. It's alright, I'll just be patient. Eventually I'll get it. Okay, there we go. I think this might be the strategy, is just like hold it and walk up to them. It seems easier than lobbing it. You dick, you had to turn around. Got it! <laughs> yeah, what a, what a great room. Had so much fun with that one. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately I can't modify the beep, beep, beep. Okay, we can't go in there just yet, because that is a boss and they have two and a half hearts. <laughs> it's just gonna... This is gonna give me health. I guess don't bother with the in no ones, just these ones. Oh no, okay. <sighs> Thank you. Alright, we're good. Oh no, it's a tile thing, never mind. I thought it was a boss. Okay. We're okay.
This is a bit easier than uh, other Zelda games because the arc of this sword is a lot bigger. One thing you don't like nowadays is the heart spawning increases when you're in low health. Heart grinding builds character. <laughs> yeah. I don't want my Zelda games to be that easy. Oh jeez. I just remembered because I am going to play Skyward Sword again and I'm going to try and play hard mode on it. Which... Ugh. I don't know. We'll see how we go. The sword, the sword fighting and that, it took ages for it to click with me, and there were certain bosses that I just struggled with because it required precision directions. So that's gonna be fun. Gardening builds character. I mean, you didn't quite play these games if you didn't go back and forth between rooms slashing bushes. Particularly in Link's Awakening, like, there was just a certain bush outside a shop that you would always go for. Once you got past the awful Skyward Sword face models, you enjoyed it. Oh, that game had really good dungeons. I think just when it came out, the downfall was the motion controls. At that point, people were kind of fatigued by... Just the way where everything had to have motion controls, even for the most simplest of actions. So. But I mean, the dungeon designs in that, that game were pretty good. To be fair to the way the base controller had very few buttons. No, but like... I guess what I'm saying is like, look at Twilight Princess, how that played compared to Skyward Sword. Like, they fully leaned into motion controls. If they would have just- if it would have just controlled like Twilight Princess did, I don't think there would have been nearly as many complaints. So it had nothing to do with that whatsoever. It's that they completely leaned into it. Which... I mean, it was a risky choice. And they probably thought it was right because they were like, no, we got the Wii Motion Plus thing and we want a Zelda game to have cool sword fighting in it, right? But people just didn't buy into it. It had other issues as well, like... It's the, it had the second most insufferable, like, <laughs> helper character, so... But the motion control was definitely the biggest reason people didn't really uh, open up to it in a warm way. What am I- what am I missing here? I've already gone- alright, let me look at- let me look at this. It looks like there's a room to the left I haven't been. The dancing every time she danced, you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But not just that, I was just like, interrupting gameplay. I guess I can't go that way. But yeah, I mean, I, there's a lot of games that suffered from that. Like, take, uh... Warrior Land Shake It as another example. Had they just made that game with just standard button layouts and... I mean, still have the shaking thing, but like, literally everything in that game involves shaking where it just kind of caused fatigue. 
I think that game would be held in higher regard than what it is. I haven't been down here, I just realized. Ciela in Phantom Hourglass was the best sidekick. I don't remember much of that game. Navi was also the worst. Yeah, that's what I meant by second most insufferable. <laughs> Sorry. I always have to do that. <laughs> I'm so glad that in uh, Majora's Mask, it was just like a, a little ding, like a bell. What am I doing here? Unless I need the dungeon treasure to get across this. Quite possibly. Ciela is what Navi wishes she was. Well, we'll get up to that game soon enough and then I'll be able to agree or disagree. I wonder if it was half as annoying for Japanese players. I mean, probably. I think it was pretty universal that it kind of got old after, like, about a couple of hours of gameplay. No problems here. wish you were Japanese? As, as in you wish you were a Japanese person or you wish you lived in Japan? Because you, you can fix the set the latter. You can't do anything about the former. You could totally like go live in Japan. You know, I know quite a few people that the way they do that is they go be English teachers. And that's not, not bad pay. You want to be one of them. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Do I really have to do this again? I hate- I hate these things. Get it? Oh my god. That's just their erratic pattern, like I, I can't predict them. Okay, there's something here. Do I just push this? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. I still want to visit Japan. That's like, number one destination for me to go visit. I was going to for, like, 2020, but can you guess what happened in 2020? It was not fun for me, let's just put it that way. Or anyone that lives here, where I live.
I have no idea really what went on. Well, I mean, it was pretty much the year began. Australia was on fire. And then, bam, in Melbourne we got locked down. And then got locked down again, and again, and again, and again. And the longest one lasted, like, six months. Almost. I think it was like five and a half, but... At that point we were, yeah, the world's most locked down city. I mean, I'm not complaining about the lockdowns, right? Like, I think, given how other places went, you know, we got off pretty easy when it came to the spread of that thing. But, you know, I will say, like, for, for, for a mental health perspective and, like, having the... It was not the expectation, but I guess the plans for doing something, and then having just everything fall apart, and then that's your life for like a year and a half. And then even when it's over, it's still like... ...not really normal again. It was not- it was not great. Like, I'm still... In the process of getting back to the, how things were in 2019. Because I've been up here. Who keeps hiding explosives in the grass? Well, there are creatures in this game that just give you explosives, so... No, but see, all this does is just lead upstairs. Alright, the only thing I haven't done... What is this? This is clearly something. Weird. Why would they specifically have a movable block for this? Hmm. No idea. Alright. to get through if you came the other way, but it wasn't blocking it. When I entered that room, nothing was being blocked. Okay, uh... What am I missing? I guess let's just keep going this way. Oh, right. I have to reset the room. I've gotten three, so there's one more to get. It's somewhere in the north. I still haven't gotten whatever the dungeon item is either. I don't fear you because these things already took my shield. Okay, so that thing's hidden behind whatever this is. I tried throwing a bomb, it doesn't work, so... I'm guessing it's whatever the dungeon item is. This room is already clear. I have a key, so there's a there's a door somewhere that I haven't gone through. That I've just forgotten about. I'm doing this to recover money, more than anything else. I did spend quite a bit of it. I guess those are the creatures that are leaving bombs, because they explode when you hit them. So, see, the, there is an explanation.
Ah, uh, okay. Well, I assume I can't do this. I imagine the item's gonna be the slingshot. The seed shoot, all right, same difference. <laughs> that sound effect is great. Okay, well, we're reaching the end of this. Oh, no, I see, I need to keep that. I'm just glad that the theme for this dungeon is, is good. The one in the previous one I was not a fan of. This seems more like a dungeon theme. Oh wait, I've already been here. Which way is it? It's up, isn't it? Ugh. <laughs> Everything on this island has just been a massive maze. Last time I got two dungeons done in the time that I, I've spent on this area. There's a remix. I mean, these games, as far as the list of Zelda games go, it's not that they're not loved. I feel like people are more likely to remix songs from uh, other tracks. Ones from the large ones. Okay, that's it. Now, something heavy fell down below. All right, now we go down. Oh, this is now... This is now normal. But now this should be like... What was that before? Yeah, so now this is here. Oh, no, I can't shoot across that. Guess not. All right. This is definitely not the way, because that just leads to that other spot that I've already been. But now we should be able to do this. What? Ah, crap. Nice. Oh no, I don't <laughs> I don't have the key. No, I guess I have to reset it. Is this just gonna be the key? No, okay, it's just money. Still. I'm 
guessing I just do uh, like one of these. There we go. I haven't faced the boss yet, which is kind of surprising. It's gonna happen. Alright, there's a key here. I can't go this way. This definitely has to be like the midway boss now. Yep. As long as I'm underground, your attacks don't scare me. Okay, we'll see if shooting him on fire is gonna work. Nope. That didn't work. Alright. Plea. Let me see if shovel. Aha! Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I've never seen the shovel used in a boss fight. I don't remember this at all. I suppose it's kind of nice that I'll be able to just generate health whenever as well. Where are you going? Okay, that's it. That was a fun fight, I enjoyed that. Oh, I guess it's here. There's the key, all right, now we gotta backtrack. thinking about something. Okay, now if I do that. Just how to get to that right room. I think I have to go back to the very start. There's probably a smarter way to do this, but eh. <laughs> it's fine. I gotta take the warp point forward to get to that right side. Hey, nice shot. Oh wait, I didn't have to do that. Just go up here. Okay, and now... Alright, dude. Thanks for popping in. Enjoy the rest. Okay. This is just the boss key, right? Like, surely. What? Oh, but it should ricochet, right? Like, they said ricochet. This one works. It gives me the other one, which is interesting. What happens when I shoot a sense seed? 
Oh. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if that was the answer, but like... Okay. I guess let's just say it worked. Okay, so now I, I guess just go this way again. There we go. to get rid of these things. Or okay, we have everything we need, pretty sure. The fact that it's replenishing that should be a, a hint. Yeah, yeah. You cannot see who I am, for I am your shadow. Oh no. This is definitely like a, a, a shooting thing. I think I have to shoot fire ones. Let's try. I'm also gonna swap to rocks feather because it's probably better for avoiding. I don't think I'm making any headway here. What? Jumping doesn't avoid it? Ugh. No. Ugh. Ooh, this, this fight is not fun. hit her once. I think I need a I need to do a rebound hit. That's what I'm missing. Like I can't face her, I have to do that. There we go. Aha! Okay, okay. Alright, we got this now. Okay, okay, okay. I got this now. Don't you dare. Oh. Okay, 
Trying my hardest not to get hit. Yes! <laughs> just, just want that. Ugh, alright, I figured it out. This whole dungeon and just this island. You got the echoing howl and essence of time. It echoes far across the plains to speak to insolent hearts. I guess I have to buy my shield back, that kind of sucks. Ambi's tower will soon be complete. Once Ambi's tower is done, history shall remember me as the greatest of queens. Oh look, there goes the USB hub again. Every year I have to spend like 25 bucks on a new one. Lank, you have the echoing howl, but things are not going well. The Black Tower is nearing completion in the past. Terrible things will happen if you don't hurry. I hear an essence echoing from the peaks northwest to Lunar City. Can you go northwest? All right. I mean, first I have to get my shield back because I thought for sure I... This huge fish washed ashore. It looks fresh and tasty. Redfish has very exciting flavor. DD. Okay, we're not we're not doing that just yet. I need to go get. I need to go get my shield back. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go through this whole maze again to get back. I can't believe none of them had it. Alright, anyway. Yes! Give me the shield. It's so unfortunate, but whatever. Okay, now I just gotta head back. I was kinda hoping that dungeon would have given an upgraded shield or something. I'm sure we'll resolve that eventually. Okay, now to get them to stop picking on... We're dying... Wait, but like, hey, what are those red seeds you have? Ember seeds? What an exciting name. Will you trade ember seeds for our fish? Sure. It's a deal. Can't wait to taste it. <laughs> hot, hot! Okay. Um... Uh, 
I was almost Eden. I'm Dimitri. I can swim in the sea. Are you going somewhere? I can give you a ride. I chomp when you press A. And I swim like a fish, even up waterfalls. You can even carry me using the power bracelet. Is this a Link's Awakening ROM hack? No, this is Oracle of Ages. It's an official game. It's two games that were released during the Game Boy Color era. Both the stories connect to one another, and Nintendo commissioned Capcom to uh, make the game. And it was using Link's Awakening's engine, so... But they are both fantastic games, and official games. Which they're going to be adding to the uh, online service soonish. I'm just playing my cartridges here. if there's anything else I can do. I'll have a look. I don't want to go back to mainland just in case like I don't get him back. I'll get lost if I go too far. Okay. And I guess I can't fully explore. Alright, I'm guessing our raft will come back into the picture, so let's just assume I can get back here. I think our friend just wants to help us back to land. Okay. Yeah, you go alone now. Bye. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do one more thing. It's already been a couple of hours. Just this whole section took more than the first two dungeons combined, but it's fine. I'll go deliver, as part of that fetch quest, the food. Wait, what was the house? Wasn't it? Oh, it may have been this one. No, this is the parrot house. Or it could be in the past, potentially. Wait. Blank, great timing. This bird just told me that Zelda is on her way to Lindor Village. So I came to meet her, but... Oh, what a mess. A red monster appeared right before my eyes and carried Zelda off. It flew toward the tower. What am I to do? Blank, Zelda is a symbol of hope for the world. If anything happens to her, all hope will be lost. You must save Zelda. Please, Lank. You must find a way to save Zelda. Huh. Maybe this is just going to be straight up the next dungeon and I don't have to look, which... Okay. Oh, this is the house I'm looking for. Yep, you're hungry. Pardon me, I just thought you could help. Give him tasty meat. Yes. Pa, meat! What's this? Hand it over. Food at last. Why are you staring at me? Oh, you want something? How greedy. How mean. You won't leave until you get something. Fine, you can have this. Pa, meat! Doggy mask. Okay. I know who that goes to already. It actually goes on a doggo. A self-conscious doggo. I just can't remember if it's here in the present. It might be in the past. I think I would have run into the house by now. Oh, I gotta let this happen. Ugh. Come on. No heart piece this time.
I just want my money back. <laughs> I have to keep letting that happen until she drops a heart piece. It's the second most annoying heart piece to get in this game. The first one being the one based on the tree. Where it's just, you have to plan it really far away and then you have to just hope that it gives you it. I'm not that fussed on it. If it takes too long, I'm just gonna leave it like I did in the previous game. Okay. I just want to see if this is correct. This might be worth doing now, let's see. Yes. Swing your sword to hit the balls. Oh. Don't get an imp, miss 50. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You can't, can't go below zero. Ooh, this is gonna be annoying. It's like a weird form of baseball. But how do I smack it to be angled? Like I've only managed to hit it. Okay, that's how you hit it on an angle. So it's like micro adjustments. I mean, I got something. It's a Gasha Seed. Okay. I'm sure there's a heart piece for this, so... It's a little weird, but I get it. So I guess as long as I don't hit the purple blocks, it's alright. Ah, oh, I missed. Damn it. No angel that time. No! Ah, oh, I missed. Oh, that's annoying. I got less this time, didn't I? Oh, but see, this is profitable. No, this is fine. Even for 150 points, I get 30 rupees, so it pays for this and then some. God. That would have been a good one to hit. I'm kind of at the mercy of... RNG here as well. It, it seems like it's not set in stone, like I just gotta hope that it's nice to me. <sighs> okay, that's a good one. I want to know how to hit, like, these angled ones like that. I 
Oh, whatever. I still made money. I think I have to get 300 to get whatever the top tier reward is. Oh, just slightly off. What do you mean? What? Oh, this is so hard to predict what it's gonna do. Okay, that's good. Ah! <laughs> Miss. Oh, why? Why does this have to be like this? I'm not gonna get anything for this. And, yep. Zero. Okay, but as long as you hit... Another 150. Okay. But I'm making money out of it, so you know what? This is pretty good. It's not a waste of time if I'm getting something from it. What? No, come on, I hit that. Alright, it doesn't- it doesn't matter. There's no negative numbers here. I wish I could just stop and get him to reset. It's just like, this is a lost cause at this point. Oh, come on. This is the worst run yet. My total is only 50. Alright, there's a pity angel. <laughs> I have to get, like, the perfect run here. Oh, what is this? It's the fir first one, really? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so annoyed at this. <laughs> okay. Nah! Oh, this game is going to drive me insane. I might actually fail this one. Oh my god. How on earth do you hit the ones to the side? Like, I, I can't hit the ones that are furthest to the side. I'm not going to win anything. Yeah. That's fine, like, I'm up in money. I got distracted from my true goal. I was trying to light it up. <laughs> what if I do this? Nope. I'm gonna try now, like, I've already lost this one. Alright, even spinning doesn't do anything special. Oh, from below. So if I want to hit these ones from below. Okay. I understand that a little more now. I've spent more time in here than I should have, really. Okay, there we go, there we go. Got one of the bottom ones. Come 
couldn't react to that one quick enough. It's okay. I didn't lose points, that's the important thing. I could have gotten above 300 if I had just hit. Okay. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I know this must be frustrating to watch. Okay, there we go. It doesn't matter. Didn't miss. I didn't lose points. What is this? Like... Uh, <sighs> Alright, whatever. I, I got a hit. Okay. Damn it, I missed the angel. This is not gonna be good. Okay, that's a good shot. Well. Yep, yep, it's all gone now. Alright, last one. I got 150 at least, so... Oh, wait, not done. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. This is, the, this is the run. This is the one. Oh my god. Alright, that lesser of the evils. Like, that was kind of a very bad roll. Same with this one, but I'm just gonna smack it up the middle. What is going on? Why does it keep doing that? Stop it. I can't believe how unlucky that is. Okay, got got that one. 320! 320! There has to be another prize above it. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look at the prize list. Uh Oracle of Ages Sword Mini Game. The mini games, alright, here we go. Sorry, chat, just a sec. Shooting gallery. It is worth- it is worth doing. So we need- uh, the- the target is 400. We need to get above 400. Okay. The target is above 400. Okay. We just need only a few of them to go our way. And that's, yep, that's where this run ends. Zero. There we go, that's a big one. Ah, I, I really needed that. It's still good. We got another Gasha Seed, which I guess, if I'm trying for the heart piece, this isn't the worst thing in the world to do. Mm -hmm. 
It's okay. I just needed to shoot that again. Just hit that shot again. What? But that was the same shot! Why did it deviate? Okay. Straight up the middle. There's no way I'm gonna get it. Another seed, so that's fine. I, I, it's doable. I just, I just need to be better, and also just get lucky on, on the RNG on it. Honestly, just where it lays stuff out. Oh, this is annoying. Yep. Well, I mean, this runs over. Skill issue, luck needs to increase. <laughs> uh. There's just no way to predict this. Okay. But I mean, it's, it's not a total waste. I'm not really going into a deficit here in terms of money, so I guess it's fine. It's alright. Doesn't do anything to me. I don't think it gives you enough time to line yourself up. That's the other thing. It's just... You have to be super quick. Okay, okay, this is promising. You just need to slam one more angel statue. Alright, never mind. It's not gonna happen now. Didn't lose points, so that's fine. Now I lost points, that's not fine. Three hundred. If I would have gotten that statue, I would have I would have made the cut. I would have made it. I would have had it if I would have gotten that one other angel statue. Okay, that's good. Doesn't matter, just as long as it didn't take points away. I'll get lost. <laughs> Straight ahead. Okay, that one's fine. Consistency is a bitch. Okay, zero. That's fine. Yeah. I just need to know the spots to stand in to hit certain ones. <laughs> Is anyone tired of this yet? Dude, please give me like half a second more just to be able to line myself up. Like, you're just at the mercy of RNG here. <laughs> okay. Ah! 
What? Ah. I mean, I can only imagine how I was as a kid with this, honestly. Okay. What? How? Uh, you know what? Zero points is fine. I, I don't know how that happened, but whatever. I don't understand how that happened. <sighs> Alright, it's not a miss. That's the important part, I haven't missed. That's fine. Oh, why do you have to be so unlucky? I, I mean, look, that's that's above 300. That wasn't bad, it's just... I need to know how to, how to hit the angels properly. Okay, this one's straight ahead. There we go, alright. Not a bad start. Doesn't matter. As long as I don't lose points. Okay, this one's gone. There's certain ones that are, I just feel like are so... Oh, wow, that's... There are certain ones that I just feel like are so difficult to hit. Like, I'm not really moving by that much, but it deviates quite a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna spend as much time as I did in that last dungeon in here. You suck! That one in that position just seems so hard to hit. Okay, straight up. There we go. Ooh, nope, that's still, that's still a net positive. That's still a net positive. Still a net positive. Oh, oh I needed, I really needed to get that. It's not gonna work now. That's a net negative. How many seats have I won? I mean, this is gonna be good for the, the heart piece hunt, I guess. Oh, there we go! That's a good start. That's a start right there. That's a start. We got ourselves a start. It's okay, it's okay. Zero is fine. Just don't strike out. Oh my god, not again. That's net positive. That's still positive. Alright, I just need to nail one more angel. No! <laughs> is it gonna be an angel? No, okay. <laughs> Alright, it's, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna be so annoyed if I hit an angel. Cause that will mean like everything, if I had not messed up any of these, okay, it's fine. I think I would have been close, but I wouldn't have gotten it. I think you have to hit all three and then just not mess up. Okay, there's one. Dude. 
Like, how annoying is that? Okay, I'm gonna stand here just in case. Nope. Okay. Keep it there. Leaving it there. I think I got the meta to this. Alright, I didn't move, but sure. Like, I think always go for the angle shot. Uh, how much was that? 380? Well, 350. Oh, I got a ring. I was close. I might, I might have a meta for this now. Just straight up the middle, doesn't matter, it's 20 points. Oh, come on, man. Okay, uh, I can't start again, I just have to bear through this one. I feel like that last one is the closest I've been to getting it. To be honest, I'm kind of just practicing corner shots here. I can't believe how inconsistent it is. Like, I don't move, and it still affects the angle somehow. Maybe it's just on the timing of the swing as well. It's okay, I still hit it. Oh, what a shot! Ooh, dude, that gets two. I'm not moving from the spot. Oh, no, what do you mean? <laughs> how? How? How did that do? Uh, ah! Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's still over 400. Just don't fuck up. Just go straight up the middle, that's still positive. 440. I, I think this is it. Wait, 350 or more ends a ring? Hang on, that's not what I'm reading on this wiki. Oh, shit, I'm reading the wrong thing. But I did get the correct reward. Wait, so this, this same mini game. In the other game gets you this, but in this one it doesn't? Okay, look. That's fine. No. No, no, no. Jeez, it's a good thing I looked it up. Alright, whatever. Um, I got completely distracted from what I was gonna do. That was like 20 minutes of that mini game, wasn't it? I don't even I, I don't even want to think about it, but it, that was like 20 minutes of mini game. <laughs> that was 20 minutes of me playing a mini game. Those rings better be something good. Okay, well, I guess let's get to this, huh? I got so many seeds out of that. Where's the woman with the doggo? Just who is this Nehru? Okay, no, I think... 
It might be this house, but like in the present, which is kind of funny, but whatever. Alright. I'll get these rings appraised as well. I may as well. What's this house? Let's just make sure. Oh, yeah, you're just selling a ring. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, maybe I got something really useful, you never know. The blue holy ring. No damage from Zora's fire. That seems very useful. The octo ring. Become an octorock. Okay. That... that fire ring seems, uh, like, quite legit. No damage from Zora's fire. Sorry, that was an accident. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was worth my time, like, that seems like it's gonna save me a bunch of trouble later. I know, yeah, that's the woman with the, uh... The sun that turned to stone. I think it's this house down here. It's kind of funny that it's maybe here. Yep, it's here. Okay. Yep. My dog is much cuter than that dog. Much cuter, but my dog is very shy. Well, that dog mouse. It fits my dog perfectly. Let me have that dog mouse. Yes. Good boy. You deserve the toy that my dog played with. A dumbbell. But there's only one. Alright. I, I, I don't think I've come across anyone that wants to do weightlifting. Let me just go see what's down here. A turtle works faster than you. You're too late, Lank. You did me a favor in Holodrum, and I've taken the princess you're looking for. If you think you can save her, try. Gah ha ha ha. Oh no, not this boss. If you can dodge my attacks and make it up here, you can have your precious princess back, but it'll never happen. Gah ha Oh my god. Are we, are we about to play Donkey Kong? Oh no, yeah, we're about to play Donkey Kong. Oh, what? No. Alright, whatever. Ha, don't think this is over. Gah, goodbye. Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Zelda. You are Lank, right? I knew it at first glance. Take this as a thanks for rescuing me. It's a ring. Shall we go outside? Zelda, you're safe! I was so worried. Why did you come all alone to such a dangerous place? I'm sorry I made you worry. But I saw it. A world filled with sorrow and despair. Withering away. Lank. The Triforce on your left hand is the mark of a hero. We cannot let Varen do as she pleases. Only you can thwart Twin Rover and save the world. Please, Lank, chase the darkness away with your mighty hand and protect this land. Please, please. The title character, I know, right? Lank has taken it, so there's nothing to fear, right, Zelda? For now, we must hide in Nehru's house and await world from, word from Lank. Lank, you are headed to the mountains in the north. West? I heard there's a trail west of here. Be careful. I mean, I'm kind of surprised they stuck to it, like, calling it the Legend of Zelda. It's really the Legend of the Triforce, isn't it? If, it, if we were to be, like, completely accurate about what the story is... 
Like, it's really just telling what the Triforce, like that prophecy that happens every time. Zelda's just part of it, but she, it's not really the legend of her, is that? I always hope for a safe return. I just want to see where I have to go. Oh wait, they said to the west, so hang on. I don't think I can get across here. Oh wait, I can swim here. Wait, more like the legend of the bitch doing what he's told, but... <laughs> I mean, he takes his time about it. The legend of conformity, like, you could, you could take it down that path if you want. They said to the west, but I- oh, you know what, unless it's in the past. Maybe. Oh. That was- yep, well done. Yeah, I didn't see any anything here that kind of hints at a path. It might be a thing in the past, to be honest. It's just going to lead to the castle. For someone who had never played a Zelda game, you legit thought Link was Zelda for a long time. Oh no, that's pretty common. Yeah, what's happening here? The Black Tower of the Past is nearing completion. Terrible things will happen if you don't hurry. In essence, echoes near the peak northwest of Glinna City. Yeah, I mean, at a, at a certain point, it's kind of telling the story of the Triforce, and I mean, originally the first games were about uh, rescuing Zelda, and some of them have kind of departed from that, more or less, and like, yeah, sometimes Zelda's in trouble, but sometimes it's just about stopping, like, the evil prophecy from coming true, so... I just feel like they probably could abandon the naming convention, but at this point, it's it's a trademark, it's known. So, it's more for the sake of, like, it being recognized, as opposed to accurately representing what the game is about. But the other thing I could do is, like, if they renamed it Legend of the Triforce, then they could probably use new characters as well. Like, maybe the protagonist doesn't have to be Link, but could still be related to the Legend of the Triforce. Like, it would free them from... from that. I don't know if they'll ever do it, but that would be an easy way to allow for that to happen. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, I'll just replant. Pretty much I have to plant as far away as I can from the center of the map. And then we just hope that there's a heart piece inside.
So wait, isn't this where it wants me to go? Oops. I mean, it said west, but it said northwest of the village, so... The thing is, I just got a slingshot, so like, what would be here that... ...would suddenly be something I can traverse all of a sudden? Yeah, like, this just seems like backtracking. Okay, but this just led to the seeds, which I've already gotten, so what do? Also here, which seemed to have something else, but I never explored it. I kind of assumed that it was just this. No, but even still, I don't have an answer for this. been lied to, there's nothing here. This is, I guess I said northwest, so maybe I should go north first. This is just a dungeon. I mean, I would assume this is what I'm trying to get to here. It's just, there's no path from the past, so I need to find a path from the present to head here. Like, that's where I'm trying to get to, but it just didn't seem to be crystal clear where to go. I mean, the bridge, but... There's no obvious way to get there. I just want to be headed in the right direction, that's all. I don't want to be figuring out where I need to go. Is there a way to head further north from here? I mean, this just leads to the tree, right? And that's just... the tunnel that goes here. There'll be an aha moment. <laughs> Just have to find it. Symmetry City. I am an idiot. I completely forgot. Alright. Haha! <laughs> I forgot. In my defense, it is almost. Well, it's past 11 pm here, so. Oh, 
I wasn't trying to do that, but sure. Wait, I'm, aren't I immune to fire from the Zoras? No? Didn't I equip that ring? Unless that's not what it means, but... I thought I equipped the ring. Maybe I didn't. Those lazy wise left fo fools. Just as we're building this bridge to Symmetry City ruins, they go off and on break. I wait and I wait, but they don't come back. We'll never get the bridge done at this rate. I'd go find them, but the terrain around here is too rough. A man can't navigate on his own. Pa! What a fix. Alright. Oh. Oh no. Okay. But, like... <laughs> I mean, this is the way, it's just... Mister, I found you. Okay, cool. Listen, it's a mess. A big, winged, bear-like animal got lost in our forest and can't get out. We were playing a little trick, but now it'll never get out. Can you help us find it? Do you get our problem? Hurry, I'll wait at the forest entrance south of here. Alright. Oh wait, there's this path as well. What's over this way? Oh, this is just a shortcut. Okay. Oh, but I can't go under the bridge anymore. Never mind, it's a dead end now. Should probably check on that ring, but eh. Wait, mister, this way. It's deep in the woods. We don't even know where it is. Alright, then... Off I go, I guess. Oh, oh no! We're back into this maze thing again. But they're the ones doing this! Like, they're the ones making my life harder right now. It's not that this is the way the forest is. Like, they are the ones doing this to me. They're the ones controlling this path. I bet you this is all just a game to them right now. Like, this is hide and seek and I'm finding the bear. Back, back, back. Let's just see what happens. All right. So this is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna figure this out. Down, up. Got it. <laughs> I'm back in the same spot. I'm so hungry. I can't move. Lank, are you lost too? Mister, you found it. Okay. We'll take you to the edge of the forest. Yeah. You won't get lost here. Sorry we didn't mean it, but seeking is more fun than hiding. Really, I want to do it again. Next time we'll be harder. Come play with us again, okay? Goodbye. Yeah, they did it. I thought you would n I would never get out. You're always helping me out, Lank. I must help you in your adventures too. Maybe I can help like I did in Holodrum. So, take this flute, play that flute when you need me. Oh, cool. Excellent. Climb on my back. Alright.
Yep. I figured it out. But they were the ones that were doing that. Like, surely they can make it stop at any point. Last time you played this game, it was a rental from Blockbuster. Shame that doesn't exist anymore. It almost seems like Netflix is going to go down that path as well, just based on its current trajectory. I mean, they're just concerning themselves too much about like, oh no, we're not making as much money. We need to make sure our users aren't sharing passwords. Because that's the problem. The u it's the user's fault. Certainly not that we're going back to the days of cable TV. Where, like, these companies want us to pay, like, a fee for their content. Everyone wants a bit of money. You would say a rip when Netflix has it coming. I mean, it's partially not their fault, and it's also their fault at the same time. It's like, the partial not fault is just movies. Every single movie studio slash media company wants their own streaming for the service, and it's gone back to, like, cable TV. The part where it's their fault is, like, their strategy to dealing with it. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Forget work. Maybe I'll write a poem. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Forget work. Maybe I'll write a poem. Okay. Like, I, I just love the rationale. It's like, oh yeah, no. People have no alternative. It's not like they're gonna stop subscribing. Do you know what's happened in Australia? For the first time in... I don't know how many years now, but easily over a decade. Right? The rate of piracy in Australia has gone back up. To the point where it's like one in every four person will pirate stuff in Australia. Like, it's, it's one in four. That's the rate of piracy in Australia now. Because of all the subscription service, like... Having... Half a dozen, if not more, subscription services. It's gone back to that. Do you know why music subscription services work? Is because there's there's only like a few of them. Imagine if every single record label had their own subscription service. Like people would just go back to pirating and burning CDs, honestly. Especially with just, you know, the state of things. It's just, hmm, am I gonna pay for Netflix or am I gonna pay for food? Which, which do you think people are gonna prioritize? It's gonna increase, like Australia had one of the largest rates of piracy. Wait, did he move? Music services work because music isn't something you sit down and listen to without other things. No, but even that, outside of that, like... If music services went down the path of what, like, movies are doing... I don't think many people would, uh, subscribe. My boss is an honorary fellow. He does no work, but complains about quality. Okay, I can't, sh I can't shoot him to get back to work. Don't understand ads. Do people really buy things when they saw an ad? I mean... Some of it... Some people are influenced by ads, but then... There's also, like, the... I guess the sub subliminal aspect of it, where like, you might not think it, but maybe at a certain point, like, let's say, let's say I see 
an ad for a particular toaster. Right? And I keep seeing that ad for toaster, and I don't need a toaster right now. But then one day, I'll be like, oh, I need to go get a toaster. But me being me, I don't really care about toasters at all. It's kind of like, I'll just go out and I'll go to a store. And then in my mind, it'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen ads for this thing. And it's not because I'm trying to look for a good toaster. It's kind of, I'll go to the easiest path where it's like, okay, that's something I recognize. I'll, I'll just get it. I need a toaster. And that's kind of the power of ads is just like brand recognition. So when it comes to purchasing decisions like that, that involve no research and is kind of on a whim thing. That's why there's ads, I guess. There's a lot of psychology involved into it, and I'm not doing it justice, but you'd be surprised. It's not a, it's not a case that the majority of people will buy things the moment they see an ad. That's not it at all. Like, a lot of it is honestly just to be in your head. If I don't care about toasters, wouldn't I go for the cheapest? Not necessarily. I mean, the, well, like, there's certain things where the price difference between the cheapest and the most expensive isn't really that much. But, like, let's say it wasn't like a completely didn't care. It was more like a, alright, I don't want to have, I don't want to buy a toaster and have it break. So I don't want the cheapest one. But I certainly don't want an expensive one. There's like a nuance there, but I guess you, I'm trying to convey that like more often than not it's just about recognizing the brand and knowing that it exists when it comes to advertising. That's all. And when it comes to like purchasing something, all three of those slackers back here. So I found two of them. But I haven't figured out how to get them to go back to work. Do I think Tears of the Kingdom will have more of the classic music? Uh, I mean, I doubt it. It'll be more like Breath of the Wild where the music is... I think only in significant parts will play, and for the most part it's gonna be like just what it was in Breath of the Wild, just piano, like very subtly. I mean, it's a different kind of game. Oh, okay, I just had to talk to the boss and now they're... It's not like this one, I guess. I mean, you'll- you'll- you'll hear it, but it won't be, like, on a loop. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe it'll be more prominent, because, I mean, who knows how that game's gonna play. They haven't really shown much of it. Like, we don't know if they're gonna go down the path of, uh, having shrines again. Or if it's gonna be like, maybe there's actual dungeons this time, like, there's, the, we don't know anything. If I was to take a guess, probably there might be dungeons this time, and only the dungeons are the ones that's gonna have, like, the big music, right? Kinda like, uh, Hyrule Castle in the original. The original, I mean, the, you know, the, the previous entry. But I think, uh, the open world aspect, like when you're out and about, I think that's gonna be the same as Breath of the Wild. But there might be more set pieces where, uh, like you get to experience some of the more iconic songs because there's just more of them this time around. Alright, where is this last slacker? Oh, alright, down there. Okay, I'm just gonna take a sec here, because I don't want to die. I'm going to use the almighty shovel, or is it? Zelda probably has the most iconic music. I mean, it depends. I think the concept of iconic is just based on relative... 
awareness of it. I think there are, and this this might just come from being in a bubble and caring about this franchise, but honestly, I think as far as franchises go, Mario is probably more recognizable than Zelda. Like, I've met more people that haven't played Zelda games than Mario games. Or at the very least, like, even if they haven't played it, I feel like they're more aware of Mario than Zelda. Especially now with the Mario movie coming out, like, I feel like that's definitely gonna be the case. It meant the number of songs are iconic, but... I can't- they're iconic in the sense amongst fans, they're not iconic in the sense among, like, the common person. You know what I mean? Like, I think anyone will be able to recognize- well, a lot of people will be able to recognize the Zelda theme, but they won't be able to recognize, say, some of the more, I quote, iconic pieces. They won't know it's from Zelda. Unless they play Zelda, like, it's the same thing. Whereas in Mario, like, you have the theme, the star theme, which I think is, like, something people will play. I feel like Mario has more. Oh wait, no more breaks until the bridge is done. Yes, boss. Like, it's one of those things, like, Zelda has a lot of iconic music, but it's iconic amongst the fans. It's not iconic amongst people that haven't played the game. They'll probably be able to recognize one or two at best. I, I believe, I truly believe that. What, you're done? I guess you fools can work, but no time for breaks now. On to the next job. Yes, boss. Let me put it this way, if I was to show, if I was to play the Zelda theme to an uncle of mine that doesn't play video games at all, and if I was to play the Mario theme, he would know the Mario theme. A hundred percent would know it. Oh, nice. And if I was to go one step further, if I was to play the top 10 like, most iconic tracks from the Zelda franchise and the top 10 from the Mario franchise. He wouldn't recognize most of them, but he would definitely get more of the Mario ones correct. And I feel like that's kind of the case with most of the relatives I have that don't play games. Like, they would recognize more Mario than Zelda. Zelda definitely has more music, and it definitely has a larger quantity of music that's super popular amongst the fan base, but as far as, like, the general public, ones that aren't aware of Zelda games in general, nah. Just drop your heart piece, I just, I, I'm tired of running into you. <laughs> oh, this town is, I see, it, it's gone. Okay, but this is, this is why I wanted to... I just wanted to get to this point, because now we can just fast travel, so. I'm not going to continue the dungeon today, or whatever's next, because that's probably going to be another hour. And this bot is already, like, past the three hour mark, so. I guess consider this like a double video, if you see this later on YouTube. Um, so we'll, we'll leave it here, but I will continue this. Not tomorrow, as I'm not planning to stream tomorrow, but the day after, so. It's a good stopping point. I just wasn't sure if it, if I saved, if it would let me continue from here, or if it would send me back to the, uh, the first city. Which, at least now, if it does, I have a way of fast traveling to this point. Alright. So, we'll, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Not tomorrow, the day after, jeez. Sorry, I'm in the habit of saying tomorrow. But uh, we'll continue it for sure this week. Been having a lot of fun with this one. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not done with the stream yet. I just need, like, a couple minutes. We'll take a short intermission. I just want to make myself a beverage, and then the final game I'm playing tonight is uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf, so... Hope you'll stick around for it, but if you're here for Zelda or are watching this later on YouTube, thanks for watching slash clicking the video. And, uh, yeah, we'll pick this up not tomorrow, the day after. So... The aim here is to hopefully get through the rest of these games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out in May, so... I'm confident I can get it done, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright. 